Shelly Hoffberg is a clairvoyant, medium, pet psychic, and tarot reader. She does not ask for the details about your life, but primarily relies on her gift of clairvoyance to receive the psychic insights that will be the most helpful to you about your soulmate, relationships, money concerns, and your career path. As a pet psychic, she will receive insights about what your pet or pets wants you to know. As a medium, she will connect with your loved ones on the other side. Shelley Hoffberg is the host of the Psychic Horizon radio show, produced by Goldilocks Productions and presented on Blog Talk Radio, Thursdays at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. Shelly brings together the pioneers and visionary teachers to share with you some of the most enlightening knowledge that is out there today to expand your horizons and open the path to higher consciousness. Hello. Um, this is the psychic Shelly Hoffer, and today's special guest is uh, Mike Valentine. Uh, he's um, a medium, and he's calling from the UK, and he's a, a, an Italian medium. And um, uh, the woman who uh, referred me to Mike is Carolyn, and uh, she does events you know, throughout the country and, and Europe uh, for musicians and um, people in the uh, psychic field. So if you're interested in uh, getting contacting her, please call me at 818-744-5241. Uh, before I bring up Mike, I just want to make some quick announcements um, that on June, uh, June 15th, I'm going to be at the A-M-B-I-L-I-G-H-T Psychic Fair um, in um, Long Beach uh, from 1.30 to 5.30. Um, I'm going to be um, um, doing um, a pet con in, Long, in downtown L.A., pet, that's pet con, C-O-N. You can look them up on the Internet. Uh, and that's going to be from uh, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can bring your pet or bring a photograph of your pet. And that's going to be on June 22nd. And uh, on July um, uh, 27th and July 28th, I'll be at the Long Beach Love Festival in Long Beach. That's a two-day event. Uh, and that's from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. I'm going to be listing these events on my website, psychichorizon.com, so you could, you know, get, uh, you know, go there uh, to find the location of the events, um, and I hope, you know, to meet you there. Um, uh, my guest um, for this month, uh, Jeremy Ryden is going to be on next week. Um, he's a psychic numerologist. And Revan L A T R I S H A is going to be on on the 16th. She's a pet psychic and medium. And Cher uh, Starwas, S T A R W A S, uh, she's very known in the Riverside County area, very well known psychic. And she's going to be ta talking, to, doing crystal ball readings and tarot readings. And then on the uh, 30th, uh, I'm going to have a special guest, Chris Black. Um, he's the one who is hosting the Am, Am, Am Light Fair, and uh, he's going to be on, on May 30th. Uh, I'm now ready to bring on my guest, Mike, uh, Mike Cal, Cal Valentine. Hello, Mike. <laughs> How are you doing? Uh, did I get your last name right? No, it's all right. Nobody gets my my last name right. It's actually Cavalli. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm doing fine. How are you? I'm glad to have you on the show. Uh, Carolyn has spoke yeah, so highly yeah. of you. Well, I'm looking. I'm looking forward. So, um, yeah, it's indeed an honour um, and a privilege to to come on the show. So, I'm looking looking forward to 
see what you can serve up this evening. All right. And um, <laughs> can you tell the callers uh, about yourself? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm a, a spiritual medium. I grew up. Uh, well, actually, when I was, I started to see spirit uh, when I was about five, five years of age, and I actually couldn't tell the difference between a human being and spirit. Um, and of course, this caused problems uh, at home because my mother and father thought I was just seeking attention, you know, uh, until they realised there was more to it than this. And um, but eventually, they they sort of. Catholic mum and dad sort of shook it out of you as as they do, and uh, the the actual physically seeing spirit left me for a long time. And you know you go through all the phases of life uh, as you grow up, uh, the teenage years. You put spiritualism aside, then it comes back, and then you go through dating, and it disappears, and then it comes back. And um, you know it's a bit like that scene from the. The Godfather, you know, every time I try getting out of this business, something pulls me back in. And so I finally surrendered. And uh, here I am uh, doing, I guess, what I came came here to do. Um, so, yeah, that's sort of my history. I, in between, I've been doing healing. Uh, I've worked in healing centers. I've run my own healing center now. In uh, I'm actually in Austria at the moment, in, in Vienna. And uh, I've got my own development circle uh, here as well. So I'm keeping quite busy. I do do yeah. uh, long-distance healing for those people who might be interested in a long-distance healing. And what kind of healing do you do? Oh, yeah. I mean, the long-distance healing or, uh, or simply distance healing, we call it, um, is I find to be probably the most effective healing um, when you're not actually present and uh, all that really I require is that somebody who wants the healing um, it's best when they're in bed uh, my experience not necessary but uh, if, if I know what time they're going to go to sleep then I'll send out the healing uh, channel the, the healing angels or the guides I send it as well from, from my energy field and and it's done and you know, it's all to do with intention. And if you believe in your heart that the healing takes place, not only from the healer, but the person receiving the healing, then healing takes place. There was a, a study, or it wasn't a study, it's actually on YouTube with three Tibetan monks who are trained in uh, healing. This isn't distant healing, but they don't touch the body at all. And uh, it's uh, the medicineless hospital in China, which is closed down now. And uh, they removed an inoperable tumor in under three minutes. And we saw this in real time. And this is just oh, awesome. transferring, uh, yeah, transferring um, energy. You see, they held the feeling. They knew uh, in their hearts what it was like to be whole, to be one, and to be healthy. And they agreed upon a certain, set, a certain set of words, which was already done, already healed. And those words don't have the power. They just help to reinforce the feeling of already healed. And they transferred that feeling onto the lady. And we could see in real time the, the tumor in, in under three minutes disappear. It's still on uh, YouTube if anyone want, wants to watch it. And so distant healing, uh, just getting back to your point, is, um, you know, there were studies done, and I've got this information. Uh, I'd have to paraphrase it, but for example, uh, distant healing transcends time and space. There was a study actually done in Israel of some people in hospital, and they all had uh, blood cases, all to do with blood, and they separated the files, one on the left, one on the right. The ones on the left they all prayed for, uh, and the ones on the right they didn't. Well, the ones on the left that they all prayed for all recovered uh, a lot, lot quicker, some six to eight weeks quicker than the ones that they didn't pray for. Um, actually, nothing strange about that, except they didn't tell the people doing the healing that, that those people were released from hospital 10 years before, which is a fascinating uh, thing because it shows that the healing is 
that the intention has already been sent out before we physically send the intention out. So distant healing is, in my opinion, probably the most powerfulest form of healing. Oh, wow. That's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. And you'll, yeah. and you'll have to, well, what there? So, uh, so that you can just uh, go on, uh, you know, do a Google search, you know, uh, uh, Israel study of distant healing. Or just put these keywords in, and and you'll find that they'll they'll come up. Um, it's it's incredible. Yeah. Awesome. And uh, Mike, um, can you mm. tell us about your book? Proof of Survival. Ah, yes. Proof of Survival. Um, I decided to, to do this book because it, it, I, I occasionally do workshops, um, all-day workshops, showing people how to communicate with the spirit world. And so I figured I needed a book also uh, because this is something that the people could take away with them. And it shows them the, the tools that they need in order to be able to do spirit communication. Anything for everything from preparing yourself for it. You know, it's again, we get back to intention. The whole thing about mediumship is intention. And so the book talks about preparation, not only uh, with your mind, but how you dress. Are you, are you dressed appropriately for the task in hand? For example, I'm sitting here, uh, you can't see how I'm dressed, but I am dressed with a nice shirt and a nice jumper. I have my shower. This is my ritual to tell spirit that I'm I'm ready to work. And uh, this is something that's in the book. Let Tell spirit you're ready to work and they start to work with you. And we talk about all things, about the, you know, the clairvoyance, clairgustance, clairsentience, how to be aware of them. And then it's practice, practice, practice. But it really is a handbook for after you've uh, been to the workshops or even if there isn't a workshop for you to go to, you've got this handbook that teaches you the rudimentaries on, on how mediumship works. And, um, yeah, I, I, I think it, it, it complements the practical side of it very well, I think. Awesome. And, Mike, let's take our first caller, which is Erico okay. 650. Hello, 650. Hello. Thank you for taking my call, Shelly and Mike. Um, so nice Hello. to uh, connect with you. Hi. So, and um, and yeah, who we have so, the pleasure of talking to? Yes, my name is Zara. Dora? Zara. Yeah. Dora. Dora or Dora? Yeah. Zara. Okay. Zara, Z-A-R-A. D-A-R-A. Oh. And, yeah, and yeah. Zara, yeah, Zara. Um, how, yeah. can we be, how can we help you today? Yeah, so I was wondering uh, what, what you and Mike pick up regarding the sale of my home. I have put my home on the market and um, you know, I was hoping I would have gotten an offer by now. Uh, it's been about four weeks. So I was just wondering what you see around that. It's, it's a nice home in a good location. So just wondering what you guys mm-hmm. pick up. Okay, should I fire? Should I start? Shelley? Yes, Mike. Yes. Yeah, okay. Let's have a look here. Let's see what, what we get in. Yes, uh, as I tune in with the energies, I, I do sense that, yes, this is a nice home. Uh, actually, there's a feeling of that you don't really want to sell it. That's why why there's a, oh, um, no. a little bit no, of a... No, no, <laughs> no. No, not at all. Actually, I'm, I'm, quite, I'm quite ready to move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it, it's yeah. just that, you see, what, what happens is that... There's a, a feeling there within the heart, uh-huh. in the heart center, that um, uh-huh. part of you, so, I mean, okay, you say you're ready to sell, but part of you there uh, doesn't want to let go, but I'll take on board what you said, and, and, and I'll accept mm-hmm. that. But having said that, mm-hmm. four weeks is not an awful uh, lot of time in, in this, this kind of market. I, I feel true. that eventually it's going gonna, it's gonna to go through. Uh, so, mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's a case of finding the the right person as well for for, for this mm-hmm. house. I don't see I, I don't see this dragging on forever and ever and ever. Um what I would say to you is to speed this up if you wanted this to speed up uh just um 
take a little look inside, and I think you're inside yourself, and I think you'll find there's just one tiny little thing of resist. That's that's the word. Just a tiny bit of resistance somewhere that's not putting the full energy, the full power in, into the selling of that house. Because I do feel it should should have moved pretty quick, but. Four weeks is okay. I think it's going to, mm-hmm. well, where are we now? First week in May. I, I, I feel an offer will certainly come by the end, by the end of the May uh, period. I don't see this dragging out into June and July, so I think you'll, you'll be okay with that. Shelley, what, what do you feel? Um, I do feel um, that you're uh, going to be selling the house mm-hmm. uh, to a family. Mm-hmm. I'm seeing a I'm seeing a husband and wife with two or three children. You know, is it, it, uh, that they're looking for a family home, and it is a really nice house, and it and it is in a in a good location, mm-hmm. and I feel that you're going to negotiate the price that they may not mm-hmm. want to pay the price you're asking, but you're going so you're going to negotiate the price, but you still you'll still make a good profit even if you come down a little bit. You'll still okay. make a good profit on the sale of the house. Mm. Sounds good. And, yeah. Sounds good. Yeah, and I'm kind of feeling uh, more towards the end of June and mid July, like right around that time period. Um, oh, that, I like Mike. That, I like Mike. Mike's time period. <laughs> <laughs> By the end you of like what? Well, you know, <laughs> yeah. you know the 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 agreement will will can go through, you know, by the end of the May, but then it's up to the, the, the lawyers and God knows what else. Right. But um, right. I, I, I guess we could say that by May, the deal's done. The the end of the month, the deal the deal's done. That was, that was my, my thinking That's with great. it. That's great. Great. Well, thank you both very much. I really appreciate and Mike, it. Have and Mike, day. how can, Mike, yeah. how can Dara get in contact with you? Um. Well, the best place would be to go to uh, Facebook. That would be facebook.com forward slash sacred circle community. Um, or uh, I guess uh, go on Facebook again and, and type in yeah. Mike Cavalli. Um, yes, I'm aware of Mike. I there. listen to his show a lot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Great. Thank you. Thank yep. you so much. Thank you. Bye-bye. Dear. Thank you. Yeah. Bye-bye. Well, now, I'm now going to continue my interview with Mike Cabali, and then we're going to take our next caller, which is Erico 312. Uh, Mike, when did you first discover your gift? Yeah. Was that as uh, was that as a child? Yeah, that was that. I was I was uh, really really quite young. Uh, as I say, five or six years of age, and I saw spirit as clearly as as I could see me and you, uh, and it didn't bother me. Because they were always there. I actually always used to have a, a a brother and a sister in spirit come around with me all the time. And even when we went visiting, uh, they would be there and um, they would be in the corner playing. And actually, a funny story was I said to my mum, I said, Mum, you know that boy and girl that are always with me? She said, yes. I said, well, they're in the hallway. Come and look. Of course, mum went and then they disappeared. You know, it was mum's energy, mum and dad's energy, which wasn't really conducive to, <laughs> to the, the spirit world, and, and they sort of disappeared, and that made me look foolish again. But, um, yeah, so I was at a very young age w- when I started to, to see spirit. And, um, yeah, it, I guess once it's with you, it's with you, whether you like it or not. Yeah. Um, let's take our next caller, Mike, which is Erico 312. Hello, 312. Hi, this is Karen from Chicago. Hi, Karen. And Karen. Hello, Karen. Now, how can, hi, Hello. Karen. How can we ha- thank you for calling the show, and how can we help you today? Um, right now, I'm looking for work, and I have a trade show for three days next week, but I registered with 15 agencies and three full-time jobs, and I'm wondering if you see someone calling me. Okay, well, let's have a look here. Well, you know, just on the on the law of uh, averages, someone is bound to call you. But I, the the feeling that I have that so, there's something coming to you that's closer to home. That it's it's more of a personal touch that I I feel that be coming to you. And the and the reason I say this is because I can hear in your voice and I can hear in the energy in your voice 
that uh, once people uh, hear you and they hear your voice, they might not be aware of energy and how it works, but you've got a certain uh, resonance with, with your voice. There's a certain honesty with your voice and a certain amount of I get the job done in, in that energy of yours. So that's why um, I feel, first of all, the, a, a position that will come to you will be more personal. But um, I, uh, let's see here. How many did you say? Was it 15? Did you send yes. off more? <laughs> yes. Fifteen. Okay. Well, yeah. Uh, yeah, I just, something should have arrived by now is, is the feeling that, that's come through here. Something should have arrived by now. But I, I don't want you to feel despondent with this at all. Um, just just look uh, more on a personal level rather than filling out uh, these forms that have got no, you know, where it's just a number. You know, you're, you're just one of many applicants, as it were. I, I just, I have to keep going back just to saying that this isn't you. <laughs> this isn't you. Okay. Uh, there's something closer to home to for you, and I feel you should be looking there. But to put your mind at rest, I feel you, you know you'll start to get some answers soon, and I think it's a, a very good time that you've done this now because as we start to head into those summer months where where staff start to go on holiday and things get delayed and broken up. Um, and delayed, I feel that this is the right right thing for you to to uh, be doing now. I also just want to throw this in. Uh, just somebody just on the other side mentioned in mentioned uh, law or lawyer or something like this. So whatever's going on in and around you, um, please don't think there's anything wrong or anything worried. They just wanted to uh, mention something it was either law or lawyer that's in and around you. Uh, just to keep that in the back of your, your your mind there because that might be something for you to look out for. I don't know if that made any sense to you or not, but um, that's what they gave me. Yeah, there's a, a, a trade show coming up, police trade show, um, maybe in the next couple oh, of weeks. Right, so, okay. yeah. Okay, okay. Okay, well, look, um, thanks for telling me that because then I feel that is going to be good for you. I feel that's going to be something very, very positive for you. Uh, so um, I, I, I think, yeah, I, I think you should go to the trade show and go go out there and grab what you intended to get from from the trade show, and and that's something very positive for you. Thanks, thanks you for for confirming that. That that helps uh, a lot with the the energy and the links. Okay. So, okay, Shelley. Good. Uh, Karen. Um, I feel that you are going to get into a company that does trade shows, and they do the trade show nationwide. So the new position that you will be getting is going to involve a lot of travel. You're going to be doing trade shows throughout the United States. You're not going to be just doing them in your area. So you're going to be doing trade shows on a larger scale, uh, some of them could be at hotels. Some of them could be at convention centers. I'm kind of seeing uh, big trade shows, not small trade shows. And mm-hmm. um, uh, I'm picking up the name Ed or Edward. So I think that there, uh, there's a man named Ed or Edward that is going to hire you, that, that he's the owner of the company. And... I feel that it will, you know, uh, that it will come from one of the, um, you, you said you said out 15 resumes, so it will, it will come from that, you know, okay. you know, the list that you sent out is someone that will um, <coughs> respond to you. Okay. And, and um, I, I do feel um, that you're going to have a, a, a good, um, business relationship with him and um, that you're going to be kind of one of his top people so you will be getting the prime shows. You'll be one of the top people that Mm. he uses for the trade shows. So this is going to be good for you. It's going to be better money for you. Um, They'll help with your traveling expense and it's going to be better money for you so I feel you're going to have a really good income uh, from this new job and I feel that this new job could be coming up uh, this month, the month of May, before the end of May, or right around the beginning mm. of June, 
that that's when the the new job will come up. So there okay. are going to be response. So there are going to be response to your resume. You want, might so also may want to uh, post your resume on Jobs Indeed and Monsters because people go there to look to hire people. Mm. So that okay. would be good for you to do too. I'm seeing a man around you. Is either a husband or ex-husband? Do you have a husband or ex-husband? Um, uh, an ex-boyfriend. Oh, an ex-boyfriend. Because I'm seeing, I'm picking up his energy um, around you, and it looks like it may be right around uh, July time or early August. Um, I feel that he's going to contact you. You know, I feel that he's oh. going to contact me. Oh, then, yeah, that's an ex-boyfriend. I used to live with him. Yes, yes. Yeah, he's going to contact you. You know, I feel that he may be having regrets about ending the relationship because mm-hmm. I feel you were together over a year and, you know, you both loved each other, and I think he's having regrets about something he did that hurt you. And he's having, yeah. he's having, re- he's having regrets about that, and he is thinking about you, but it's going to take him a little time to get back to you. It's probably going to be right around the month of July or right around early August that he gets back in contact with you. Was there interference with another woman? Uh, yeah, he's married. He lives out of state, and he has two kids, but they're grown. They're older. Yeah. I feel there might have been interference with the other woman. Yeah, um, you know. yeah I probably didn't know. Yeah, I think she was around, yeah. Yeah, I think it was interference of her because she seems to be the reason that he ended the relationship. You yeah. know, even though even though they, uh, you know, I feel she knew about the relationship, was very upset. But it looks like that he is going to want to rekindle a relationship with you, and that he is just going to tell her that she needs to move on because she's still hanging on to him. Mm. You know. Okay. So I feel that you could, you know, you know, because his his energy comes up very strong around you. I'm picking him up very strong. So I really feel that he's going to contact you and connect with you. And if you have any other questions, uh, you could reach me at 818-744-5245. Okay. Or go to psychichorizon.com. And Mike, how can Karen get in contact with you? Yeah, it's uh, um, again the the easiest place to do this is uh, facebook dot com forward slash sacred circle community, um, or just type in the the search Mike Cavalli. Uh, there isn't too many of me. <laughs> you'll you'll see me <laughs> up there. Um, that, that that that's probably the easiest place. You know, my website is just a website like a shop store. You know, a storefront. I really don't. Uh, have anything terribly exciting on there um it, it, you know so you could go to sacredcircle.org.uk is another way um but, but the facebook is probably the easiest okay thank you so much thank you and thank, thank you for you. calling you're Karen. Welcome. thank you Bye-bye. yeah you're welcome i'm now going to continue my interview with mike Kabali, and then we're going to take our next caller which is area code 562 um, are you gifted with both mental mediumship and physical mediumship, and what is the difference between them? Ah, okay. Well, mental mediumship is the clairs, clairvoyance, clairaudience, clairsentience, clairgustance, and there's a couple of crossovers there. So, you know, what we do is 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 basically what we've just been doing here with the last call. That this is clairvoyance. We we just ch- channel in and, and that's it. Um, with physical mediumship, um, physical mediumship involves many aspects. It's um, trance, uh, transfiguration, automatic writing. Uh, then there's, you know, looking into the mirror and see uh, what, what appears in the mirror, as it were. And there's table tipping or table tapping, which is uh, what I do. Um, and so I can do the both. I guess I've been blessed that I can do the both, uh, both mental mediumship and table tipping as my physical mediumship. Awesome. And let's take our next caller. Yeah. Um, that's really interesting. And let's take our next caller, uh, Mike, which is area code 562. Hey. 
Hello, 562. Hi. Hello, this is Yvonne. Hello. Hi, Yvonne. Hello. Hi. Um, my question is, do you see me receiving my SSI benefits? Okay, let's have a look here. The SSI benefits. Okay, right. Uh, okay, so what is the delay here? There's been an almost delay here with this. Um, uh, uh, yes, in a nutshell, I think this is going to come to you. Um, I feel that it's it's around the corner. It isn't just there yet. There is something wrong here. Um, not with the paperwork. There is something not quite right. Uh, and I think this is an administration thing, and this is why it's been, it seems to be held up. But I think you're going to get this. And I, yeah, um, yeah, the, the inf what the feeling that comes through here is that, you know, uh, you're thinking to yourself, oh, have I done done this right? Have I done this wrong? Or am I entitled to it? Or am I not entitled? No, it's, it's nothing to do with you. This is purely an administrative, um, you know, the wheels of uh, government, as it were, just turning very, very, very slowly. Um, so I think you've got to hang on for a little bit longer. Um, and I think this will come to you. Uh, I've just asked for a timeline. Well, look, they, they gave me, it was either a two or a three. That come through very, very quick. So it could be around about a three-week period, uh, something like that. Uh, yes, yeah, okay, I'll stick with that, about three weeks. But I, I think it's, it's on its way to you, and I wouldn't uh, worry so much about this. Um, yeah, I, I, yes, I, this, I'm trying to ask them for more information, and they they're just saying that's it, that's it. There's no more of the message at the moment. That's it. So yes, don't don't worry, please don't worry. Uh, it's it's going to be coming to you, Shelley. Um, I I do feel um, that it looks like um, you meet all the qualifications um, to. Um, get the SSI. You meet all the qualifications for it. Hmm. And okay. I be, I still feel um I I feel that there's more than one person that makes the decision as to whether or not to um get it. You know, uh, that you know that you have a caseworker and somebody else above the caseworker that evaluates evaluates your, your information. And it looks like if you do yeah. qualify and it looks like yeah. that you'll have it be before August. Before August, that you'll have mm. it. And yeah. it looks like that you're going to uh, that you're going to receive um, back pay. And, oh, great. Yeah. and it looks like that there's going to be some kind of low income housing that you're going to qualify for, and that okay. you're going to be moving, and it's going to be low income housing. It could be Section Eight. It could be HUD. You know that you're going to qualify for, and that you would be getting that this year, and that you would be moving. Okay. Do you see what timeline I'll be moving by chance? If you can pick up on that. Well, I feel that you're going to get the um, SSI before August. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, it may be like uh, uh, August or after August, because you'll you'll have to uh, apply for it. And, okay. and be approved, and I feel you okay. are going to apply for it and be approved. And it's either Section Eight or it's uh, HUD. Both of those provide low-income housing that you're going to get into that program. Okay, got it. Okay, thank you. And Mike, so how can how can how can Yvonne get in contact with you? Oh, uh, um, once again, uh, best place Facebook dot com forward slash sacred circle community all one word okay i'll look it up right now and thank Lovely. you for calling here. okay thank you thanks thank you bye-bye uh, we're now going to continue our interview uh, with mike and then we're going to take our next caller which is tiffany white stage women our show producer at 860 um mike can anyone be a medium yeah. Or do, you, or do you have to be born with a gift? 
Uh, a, a very good question. And uh, I, I'll, I'm going to go against my colleague's school of thought here. And it's my experience that, yes, everyone can be a medium. You know, they they used to say everyone can be psychic, not everyone can be medium. Um, I disagree with that. I believe everybody can be a medium. It's just that, you know, we can liken it to uh, everyone can learn to play the piano, but not everyone perhaps is going to be a concert pianist. And the only reason that is because some people put more time into the hours practicing and so i i believe and sort of the book will, will give you some indication of that that some people find certain aspects of mediumship easy um for example i can uh, i have i done a demonstration of mediumship the weekend and it was nearly all clairvoyance quite often you get clairsentience coming in where you feel the loved one in spirit and they tell you how they passed um well, yeah, we've all got that gift. It's just that some some people's gifts are, are, are strong in clairvoyance, others are clairsentience, others are clairaudience, and so on. So it's just practice, practice, practice. And it's always a good idea to perhaps start just doing psychic readings to get in tune with, with your own feelings and learning to read the energy in and around people and also objects. And then work on to mediumship but yes everybody uh, I have no doubt about this everybody can be a medium and can communicate with uh, the spirit world absolutely and uh, Mike let's take our next caller which is Tiffany White yep. Sage Woman uh, area code 860 hello Tiffany hello Shelly hello Mike so nice to have you with us today Thank you. I have a question. I'd like to know which uh, a message from either I have two dads and two plus grandfathers on the other side. Um, I hear quite frequently from the females because they're quite chatty. So I would like to hear no. from the male side of my family <laughs> if they have a message for me. Okay. <laughs> okay. Right. Okay. Well, the the person who who I have here with me was somebody, uh, look, uh, before he speaks, he's like uh, rolling up his shirt sleeves, ready here to, to let people know what he's going to say. So this guy I've got here was, was roll the sleeves up and let's do it. So this person wasn't a shirker, as we say. This was somebody that got down to business, and whether it was talking or repairing chairs. I don't know why I'm talking about repairing things. Perhaps this person used to. But this man was somebody that's that, that re, let's do it. Okay, we're going to do this, so let's do it. Uh, this is who I've got here. First of all, do you recognize who that person is? Yes, yes, I do, yes. Okay, okay, is, good. Is it, so, uh, yeah. um, okay, so let's see here. Uh, what the what the message is what we got to do here well, look okay look he rubs his hands uh together now this is an indication uh of in this case uh, either uh, abundance or achieving something so there's something around you i feel he wants to uh um uh, letting you know he's acknowledging of some kind of either financial rewards, financial success, or something that you have achieved or are about to achieve that, uh, that um, uh, deserves recognition for. So it's either just happening or, or about to happen. He, he certainly, uh, I feel it's more to do with financial abundance, actually. Are you aware of something, are you coming into something or a change that's going to perhaps give you a little bit more money? It's a feeling. I, you know, you like you feel it. Mm. You, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, you yeah. feel it coming. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, you know, because he he won't stop uh, letting me rub rub my hands. It's it's um, yeah, it's and it, look, it's it's not a gift that's coming. It, it's it's because of because of work, something that all the hours and stuff that you've done are uh, beginning to, to uh, you're going to get the benefit from this now. Um, but look, he just given me the month of September as well. So there's something important around the months of September uh, with this person. Uh, I know it's, we know a lot of people in spirit, um, but is that something you can remember? 
offhand associated with him? The month of September? Uh, yes, with yes, it is something that I can yeah. associate with. Oh. Okay. Okay. Well, he 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 brings that that in as well. Um, okay. Uh, let's just see uh, what else we can give you. One one more thing here uh, before we just pass you over to Shelley. Um, now I wonder why he's just looking and staring at me. Uh, I think he's just looking at me. I think he's quite happy with me. He's quite happy with the with the work. And yeah, I, I've just 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 about done it you know just about except his level of so he's a bit of a character here as here as well here um okay um okay would you understand there's something around uh is it the water is around you or around him there's something about water around either him oh, or you yes yes i definitely you know i feel like it's, it's my, both my dad's and my grandfathers are giving combined messages. I, I mean, it, they're all oh. they're all inputting. Let me, let me say that I think they're all inputting because oh. I see them all in this. And most definitely, okay. I live near water. My whole family um, right. comes from service members and fishermen. So yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, okay, okay, okay. And 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 before I hand you over, show uh, there's one person here that's eating an apple and I think this person would have always have eaten fruit quite a lot of fruit certainly there's an apple uh it could be the guy because September is the time of harvesting apples as well but um just t take that as well that he's showing me he's eating an apple uh this is a, a man and he's he's an upright man he, he isn't hunched over um so I don't know what the apple means, but uh, I guess uh, you might uh, discover that at some point. But um, I'll hand you over to, to Shelley, see what, what she has to say. Thank you so much, Mike. Thank you. That means a lot. You're, you're welcome. Thank you. Um, I, I feel, Tiffany, um, your grandfather is talking about a little boy he was close to. Did you have a brother or did he have uh, a grandson? Yes. Yeah, because he's talking about this little uh, my, boy. My younger probably, brother. Your younger brother. Okay, he's talking about this little boy. So I feel that he's referring uh, to your younger brother, and he's talking about you and your younger brother being close. Are you close now? If not, you're going to get closer. Yes, yes, we're, we're close. Yeah, and he's saying that uh, you're right. Your younger brother seems to be a little bit um, sad or depressed about something. Yeah, and uh, that that he hasn't communicated that to you, but there's something that um, he's upset with um, that he hasn't communicated to you, and. Um, He's going to be, you know, uh, talking to you about it. And okay. the grandfather is saying, the grandfather is saying for you to be there um, for the younger brother, for you to be there for him. Okay. Because I feel, yes. he, I feel he's making some kind of change. There's some kind of ending. It's either a relationship or a job, but there's some kind of ending coming up around him that's going to be upsetting. But it's going to be okay because something new is coming in that area for him. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So she. So so he just wants you to be there for. He says his grandson, and he says he loves you, and he loves his grand, your brother. Oh. Yeah. Great, that, great. that he loves you, <laughs> and he says they're all together on the other side. Your whole family is together. Your two dads, your two grand. <laughs> fathers, your grandmothers, your mother, that they're all together on the other side. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you have a no, pipo, I'm don't you? A pipo? I have a what? A pipo, a dog, a pipo? Oh, a pitbull. Yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Staffordshire Terrier, a pit bull. Yes, yes, it, yes. We have two of them. Mm -hmm. and, and is one of them a boy? Yes. Uh, because he likes the boy dog. Yeah. <laughs> he likes the, well, he likes the, he likes the other dog. He likes the other dog too, but he really 
uh, is attached to the boy one because the boy one is quite a character. He's funny. Oh, he is. He's yes. <laughs> He's really funny. He does funny things, and he just says he brings him a lot of joy, and he really loves that dog. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, it does it does snow there because he's saying the dogs like to be in the snow. Oh yes, yeah, absolutely. He, he he's like a rabbit in the snow. The way he hops, it's it's hysterical. He's definitely a character. Yeah. <laughs> And your grandfather really loves him. And he feels and when it does snow, you know, that you should be sure uh, to take them out uh, in the snow. Oh, yeah, most you definitely, yeah. <laughs> and he feels that he feels some, he's saying something about token animals or power animals. Do you work with power animals or token animals? Yes, a lot. Yes, I do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because I think because I feel you use it a lot in your work. I feel your shaman work. You're a shaman. Yes, I do a lot of that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. And um, he here he's saying something about travel. You know that you've been working a lot because you do the radio show and then you have your private practice <laughs> and then you have your family. But he's saying something right. about travel that you need to take some time off like at least two weeks off and do some travel. Okay. Okay. A vision quest. That's what it is. A vision quest. Ah, yeah. vision quest. Okay. Because, you know, I, I can admit I'm a workaholic and my play has to have some work involved in it. So a vision quest I totally get because right. there's work involved. <laughs> <laughs> yep. 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 That's what that's what that's what came through, and actually, uh, also, you know, um, I was picking up on the shaman stuff just before you said it there, but there's also something around you about deep uh, um, drum rhythms. Now I know shamans work with a lot of uh, drum rhythms, but this is a particular, very deep. Uh, um, it's got a very deep vibration that really vibrates through you as well. And it's a very simple rhythm, and it doesn't change. It just stays that same rhythm. And it almost gets you into a trance-like type of state. Um, this is yeah. what they, yeah. they've presented to me, which would be, I don't know if you do this, but if, if, you, if you're not doing it, it'd be a good idea to do this and to have it on pretty loud as well. So you'd have to be on your yeah. own and uh, make sure everyone's at work or whatever. And, and you'll find... Um, that that'd be beneficial for it. But they also, before you get before I go, bring in an elephant for you. Uh whatever the significance oh. of that is, it's a beautiful elephant that they that they've yes. uh, brought in and presented to to you. So um that's that's what I just wanted to add there. Thank you so much. It's one of my, my power animals. I have statues and decorations oh, of elephants okay. in in my home. Okay. So thank okay. you. <laughs> thank you for validating you're that. Welcome. So you're on <laughs> You're on the right track, yeah. Great, thank you. Thank and you thank so you much. Many for blessings being again from the show. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you so much. Bye-bye we're now going Bye-bye. to we're now going to continue our interview with Mike. And our uh, next caller is area code eight one eight Carolyn. And um, Mike, how much can our yeah. guys help us? And which is the prime directive? Ah, okay. Uh, the prime directive, it's uh, a fascinating thing. Uh, it was first uh, popularized in Star Trek. Uh, and this is where the, the Federation uh, could not interfere with the evolution of a planet uh, unless that evolution um, was going to cause catastrophe outside the planet's atmospheric conditions well that prime directive uh, applies to us and what's happened is the prime directive has been lifted so that our guides can get and help us a little bit more we're not sure why the prime directive has been lifted either because we have grown sufficiently 
uh, for the Prime Directive to be lifted or it's been lifted so that we can grow that little bit more. Either way, it's been lifted and the veil that separates the two worlds has become thinner. So more and more people are beginning to realize that they can communicate with spirit. Uh, more and more people are beginning to realize that they can communicate with the galactic brothers and sisters. I think it's the Pleiadians, I think they're called. I'm not an expert in that field. Uh, but more and more people have been able to uh, connect with them because the prime directive has, has been lifted and the higher realms can get down to us a, a, a little bit more it's it is believe it or not a wonderful time to live in um there isn't the catastrophe in the world that the press and everyone is making out there is more peace in the world than the, there's ever been there is less starvation in the world uh and you know uh, child poverty is down and it's it's because of actually not because of government but because of people taking uh, things into their own hands and, and so we're we're in safe hands with ourselves actually but our brothers and sisters now can help us more because this prime directive has been lifted so that's the prime directive thank you uh mike let's take our next caller which is carolyn area code 818 hello carolyn hello hi shelly and hi mike um hello <laughs> Okay, I, I have a question. I would like to get a message from Spirit, please. Okay. Okay, let's see. We need a message from Spirit. Okay, so let's ask them to come through here. Right, let's see what we have here. Okay, all right. So I've got somebody here on the other side. Let me just try and get this person here who had a little slightly uh, labored breathing before they passed. Oh, and my head is just beginning to go a little bit, uh, really, really beginning to thump a little bit. So I think if I think this is the same person. This person had quite a few problems before they before they passed, uh, and I feel, uh, yeah, I, I feel more so with the head problems, which is which caused their passing. But this but this this person steps in here, and and really wants to encourage you to to let you know that it's been like a two year journey for you if you like and you're now you're now at the point where you really need change in your life you really are, are actually the same looking forward to it um actually i don't don't know if you're in a relationship or not but if 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 you if you're not one is coming to you if you are it's going to get a lot better but and i think this will really make you feel rather whole put make you feel whole and complete that's just part of what's coming uh to you um more can come to you and they want to just express something here is change of perception uh, over the last few months you've you've started to change how you see yourself and they are they're asking for you just to see yourself just a little bit more light. Just give yourself a little bit more praise. Just give yourself a little bit more uh, empathy as it is. You know, you're, you, these things that you're coming into now, you're coming into your own light now, and it's been a long time coming. And so they want you to keep this going. And when you do this, you will start to see enormous changes around you. I understand that at the moment it feels like, oh, I just missed that opportunity or all oh, that opportunity is just gone. Uh, but, but okay, well, you know, the universe doesn't run out of opportunities. They're endless. Believe me, they're okay. endless when I say so. But, but so if you just, uh, ah, thank you. Bring your heart and mind together. Thank you. That's what they're saying. The heart is pulling you one way. The mind is pulling you the other. So when you bring your heart and mind together, on a single outcome, on a single thought, uh, then then it will start to manifest. Uh, it's called the law of certainty. So you have to oh. see it in your mind as though it's already happened and feel it in your heart. Okay. Just like Christmas, when you get a Christmas present and we, we feel that, that joy of opening up the present, that's the feeling you've got to have. Once you get that, then you'll start to see a lot more 
stuff unfold. Uh, there's, uh, there's somebody in the spirit world also that had problems with, uh, it seems to be one eye. If, if it's not both of them, it's just one eye. Are you aware of this person uh, that had well, an eye problem? Uh, uh, Sorry? I'm that... not sure. No, I'm not sure. I, I can't think okay. right now. Okay, okay. But anyway, hang on to that. That might come back to you because they're making me cover uh, my hand over one eye. Uh, so... So this person may have had a patch, actually, at some point over their eye when they was on the earth plane. Uh, but if you can't take that just yet, just hang on to it, and, and it will come to you at some point. Um, so I'll hand you over to Shelley. Well, See what she you has to say there. Thank You're welcome. You. Um, I, feel, I feel, Carolyn, um, that your family on the other side um, is saying that you isolate yourself too much, mm-hmm. and they and they would like you to spend more time with family, and they would like you to have um, get out more and do things. Okay. You know because they feel you're too isolated. Okay. And, and that and so they're saying get out and go places, go to the movies, go to metaphysical centers, you know events there. Yeah. You know, um, do things with your family. Um, it's you know, they're saying you should get together with your um, uh, your granddaughter. That she, is she supposed to be leaving for school soon? No, I don't know. I don't, I don't know what she's doing. I feel she may be leaving for school. I don't know when. It may not. It may not be any time soon. But she is going to go back to school. And they're saying you should make plans with your granddaughter, that you should see your granddaughter. Okay. All right. Thank you, uh, Shelley. And, and they're saying that your son, your son may marry this girl that he is with. Mm-hmm. And, and that you could be having, that they could be ha- have a baby, which is a little boy, so you're going to have a grandson. Okay. Grandson. Yes, uh... Thank you. And I will see you later on today, Carolyn, and thank you for calling. Okay. Thank you both. You're welcome. Okay. Thank you. I wanted to thank um, Mike C A V A L L I uh, for being a guest on the Psychic Horizon show. Go to his Facebook page if you would like to um, get a reading. He's also a healer if you'd like to have a healing a reading, uh, go to his Facebook page so you can uh, contact him. And i like to thank Tiffany White State Car- Caroline uh, for uh, referring him. And anybody out there who is uh, involved in the music or involved in the metaphys- uh, the psychic field, please call me and I'll give you her phone number and she could interview you and uh, and and see if she would want to help you uh, host a, host an event for you, and I want to thank Tiffany White Sage Woman uh, for producing the Psychic Horizon show, and I want to thank all the callers who participate and support the Psychic Horizon show. Thank you for calling, Mike. It was great having you as a guest. You're really good, and I'm planning to have you back. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you dear. Thank you. Be a, a, a pleasure and a privilege. Thank you, dear, and have a good weekend, and thank you for being on the show. Will do. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye for now. Bye-bye.